Top 5 Medical Breakthroughs That Sound Like Science Fiction 5. Arm Transplant Meet Army Sergeant Brendan Morocco. In Iraq, he was hit by an IED, makeshift bomb, and lost both legs and parts of both arms. At one of the top hospitals in the world, John Hopkins, he successfully received a rare double arm transplant. Morocco was the seventh double arm or double hand transplant in the U.S. The surgery involved the connection of bones, blood vessels, muscles, tendons, nerves, and skin on both arms. Lee told the Washington Post that new arms are never going to have 100% of the function of the limbs they replace, but patients learn to tie shoes, use chopsticks, and put their hair in ponytails. 4. Bionic Eye The system isn't perfect. It lets a blind person regain basic functions like walking on a sidewalk without stepping off a curb and distinguishing black from white socks, but only lets you read one giant-sized word at a time on a Kindle. But the technology could soon help the more than 1.75 million people who suffer from macular degeneration. How the Bionic Eye Works A Bionic Eye converts images from a video camera, left picture below, to a high-contrast representation middle picture, of which a portion is selected for further processing. An external video processor then converts this high-contrast image to electrical stimulation parameters, which are sent to electrodes implanted in the eye. The bionic eye recipient perceives a blurred image, right of the picture, comprised of flashes of light. 3. Synthetic Blood from prosthetic limbs to artificial hearts, pacemakers to ear implants, we've figured out how to replace darn near every part of the human body. But until recently, blood was a bit of a pipe dream. Not so anymore. In 2017, England's National Health Service NHS, will conduct early safety trials in which about 20 people are given small amounts of synthetic blood made from stem cells. The short-term goal is to create red blood cells to treat specific conditions and illnesses like sickle cell anemia. The long-term goal? NHS scientists hope to make enough for transfusions for people with rarer blood types. 2. Longer Life A study found that getting rid of cells that no longer divide could be the key to human longevity. Scientists at the Mayo Clinic found that cells which no longer divide inside our bodies, known as senescent cells, are linked to diseases of old age such as kidney failure and type 2 diabetes. Disposing of cellular litter could prolong life by up to 35%. The procedure increased the lifespan of mice by 17-35%. to The drug also delayed the formation of tumors and reduced age-related deterioration of several organs. In addition, the mice looked healthier and had lower levels of inflammation in fat, muscle, and kidney tissue. A number of pharmaceutical companies are already working on developing drugs aimed at disposing of cellular waste. 1. A nanoparticle-powered microneedle patch to melt fat Humans store fats as either white fats or brown fats. White fat is geared for long-term energy, whereas brown fats burn far easier. However, by the time we reach adulthood, most fat is kept as white fat. The microneedle patch offers a controlled drug delivery, so only the desired areas are affected. Once applied to the skin, a patch releases a fat browning drug encapsulated in nanoparticles. Because these particles slowly dissolve when they meet the body, the drug only impacts the fat directly under the skin. The research, published in ACS Nano, used obese mice as test subjects. After a week of treatment, they found a 20% fat reduction in the targeted areas, as well as lowered blood glucose levels, implying an application in diabetes treatment. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.